Mary refers to the disturbances that link what she qualified as the, quote, the violent years of Mexico, the couple's evident social and cultural isolation from their surroundings, the rel relentless withholding of ourselves from becoming exiles, the distance from a politics of experience, the upscale inclination of their class status in Mexico, and the reckoning it compelled as to their, quote, pre previous stage of proletarization. These factors led Mary to seek out the assistance of a Mexican psychiatrist who had recently returned from study in the United States, was thus fluent in English, as well as young and intelligent, she continues, and he had advanced ideas on women's freedom, a feminist, but who goes unnamed in the historical record. I quote at length, the psychiatrist asked to see George, who recounted a dream that he and his sister were going through his father's papers, and after his father's death, in a file marked miscellaneous was a paper entitled, How to Prevent Rust in Copper. George thought, my old man must be a little frivolous perhaps, but he certainly knew that copper does not rust. He shook the bed with his laughter, but I did not find the dream funny. But George tells of driving on Avenida Insurgentes in Mexico City, weaving the truck from side to side, laughing at the dream of rust and copper that he was going to discuss with the psychiatrist. When he sobered and drew up to the curb, he said to himself, I'll kill myself driving this way. And he drove the rest of the way carefully when he told the doctor the dream, laughing again at its ridiculousness, the doctor stopped him. You were dreaming that you don't want to rust, he said. On the way home, George, George stopped and bought a pad of paper and some pencils and started to write the materials." End quote. 